believe that this is the first time I've ever turned on the camera this early in the morning. It is 5.20 in the morning and I have an audition that is due in less than two hours. I was sent an audition last night and it was far too late to shoot it at that hour. And so I decided to make the commitment to set my alarm at five in the morning to get this done before 7 a.m. And I under no circumstance do I recommend waiting until a couple of hours before when it's due but sometimes that's just what it calls for so i'm going to quickly make some tea warm it up and then go over the instructions that are needed and then shoot this because i already have to shoot it edit and submit it and it's due like now so we've got to go is intended to be more of a, a Mexican accent in Spanish, and baby two should sound more like someone who comes from Puerto Rico. I think the main takeaways from the audio instruction was there are two separate babies and I will be reading for both babies. We are not doing baby voice. It is funny because you have an adult voice attached to a baby and we're currently talking about a respiratory virus that affects babies. So it's a very serious topic, but we are trying to find comedic timing and a bit of lightness with the babies having adult voices. And uh, I think it's gonna be even funnier because it's in Spanish. Si, sí. se lava su carita con agua y con jabón. Con agua y con jabón? Si, sí, se lava la carita. For baby number one, they want more of a Mexican accent. And for baby number two, they want more of a Puerto Rican accent which number one, I think I will be able to give the Mexican accent, but I might have to look up a little bit on the accents for the Puerto Rican because I have never tried to do that accent before. And I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of Googling and listening to some Puerto Rican accents so I can try to emulate a little bit because my accent gears more Mexican. I also need to properly pronounce the medical term, which is Bay Fortis. The gentleman in the explanation said it in English and he said Bay Fortis. So I'm trying to think in Spanish, would it be Bay Fortas. There are some words in the script that are make are really making my Mexican accent come out. The, they have the word guay in there, which is slang for dude, kind of. So one of the lines is, ¿Y por qué guay? I'm fighting every urge, every fresa Mexican urge to go, ¿Y por qué guay? Everything. Many people, not everybody, but many people change the R's for the L's. Instead of saying, Hello, hello, you are not in my head. Let's see. Oh, we did it. I figured out the technical problem. Amazing, half the fight is the technical problems. Let's start with baby number one, which I think I'm gonna be good at. Let's do the baby with the Mexican accent. Okay. So I think I'm gonna play with my character, the first one, to be very like, this first baby is definitely gonna be very much more fresa a little bit when I'm waiting to the Mexican accent. That is a tongue twister, I will say. Comenciar a gatear, comenzar, comenzar a gatear, comenzar a gatear. Estoy pensando en comenzar a gatear. Estoy pensando en comenzar a gatear pronto. Quiero ver el mundo. Y entonces queremos Bayfortas. I've done commercial auditions in Spanish and I always feel when it's time to say the brand name like Bayfortas, it just sounds sounds so like this isn't a Mexican word and I'm trying to put a Mexican accent onto it. Like Toyota or I think like Verizon. Verizon. My headphones would just die. Do I have a cord for them? Do I have a cord for them? I need different headphones. There is just chalala. This is what I found inside. Yeah, don't get stressed. La seguridad es lo primero. So there is an R in this first word, but an L there, brutal. Brutal. 
I'm just not gonna emphasize on this first R. Tal, yo tengo. That was so ugly. That was so ugly. I feel like that was offensive. Oh my god, I tried to combine an L and an R. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Just not so hard. Brutal. You wanna? Oh, that was so ugly. I think I'm just gonna have to deliver this with a Mexican accent because they're gonna clearly be like, you cannot do a Puerto Rican accent. I just can't. I simply can't. Okay, so here we go. And baby number two is laying down the law with the medical inflammation. So here we go. <clears throat> Sarpullido y dolor, hincha, hinchazón o endurecimiento. Oh, Jesus. Como los, in como los, efect como los efectos secundarios. Como los efectos secundarios más comunes, sarpullido y dolor, in, hinchazón o endurecimiento. Porque la temporada de ver ese ya está a la vuelta de la esquina, nena. Also, I think it's pretty sick that one of the lines that I have to say in the Puerto Rican accent is V-R-S, V-R-S. Um, that's crazy because I'm not supposed to pronounce the R o S. So... I'm assuming, assuming that in these moments you're supposed to actually pronounce them because how else would you say R and S? I'm sure I, I don't have enough time. I, I can't be studying a Puerto Rican accent when an audition is not only due, but it is, there requires to be research. And yes, I've been listening to some stuff, but it just, sometimes it obviously isn't enough for that skill of that accent. So I'm not going to let that get in the way of my performance because they have me reading for two separate characters and obviously one I'm feeling very strong about. I have less than 30 minutes to have this due. I, I need to focus. I mean, this needs to be done and up edited and uploaded by in 30 minutes and I'm still talking. Okay, here we go. I wasn't able to update you with my updates this morning. It was too early, too much going on. I barely made the cutoff to upload my content. I really submitted at the buzzer on that one. It's, that only happens a few times and I don't like to do it. That's not my thing. That only tends to happen when the auditions are so short notice. I'm a, I was, hold for sound. My neighbor might be starting the leaf blower and this would be a bad time to do this. <laughs> I wish let's focus. I I wish you could smell this. Mmm. It smells so good. Once you have espresso in your head by Sabrina Carpenter, consider it done. Consider it the song of the day. So <laughs> do not even try to come for me and these coffee making things. I am so, so new here. Extremely new here. And I'm just trying trying to remember all the steps that Ryan told me to take. Pow! Ooh, look at that. Rip off the band-aid and come out and say it so we can move on past it. The first step is acceptance. Um, I did hear back from casting and I was unfortunately not cast as Natalie and I feel like I'm breaking it to my family and friends all over again. So the news of me not booking all shook up definitely hurt. I felt a sort of, I don't, I don't know if I wanna say peace. Auditions and casting is such a puzzle and it has nothing to do with me as a person. And the day that I learned that I was able to break free, I think of the shackles that was thinking I could shapeshift my way through it. When they were trying to switch us all out, I was reading with different guys and different girls were reading with different guys and we were all switching around. I could tell that we were all so good in our very own way, but we were so different. We were so vastly different in age, height, ethnicity. Like there's so many different pieces that were happening there and I was sitting watching it and being like, wow, yeah, like everyone here is so talented. Now we're just figuring out if it makes sense. And there's, and so much of casting is that. I think that that's what casting and directors are always trying to tell us. They're like, just show up as the best version of yourself because it's just gonna fit or it's not. And of course it hurt because I cared and I was obviously hoping to do it, but that role was not mine and it hurts, but I believe in the rejection is redirection and 
the job of the actor is to do their best interpretation of that character and it's up to casting and the director and their vision to what they think will be the best for this production and this time I was not that Natalie but I am not giving up the dream of wanting to be Natalie or play Natalie it's just another opportunity to hit the gym work out that muscle dance sing the material do the scenes, work that with real people and other actors that were so good. We were making the casting team laugh, like that felt so good. Just being there at callbacks is so fueling. It's, we get to do what we love. Rejection is redirection. Rejection is redirection. And I truly believe that when a door closes, a window will always open. I really, I truly believe that. And I absolutely choose to look at that because the day after I got this rejection, I have another audition that I was not even looking for. And that's my reminder that opportunities are in every corner and you just have to be willing to put yourself out there. And it's scary, I know, I'm scared. I'm, I, I hope you know I'm scared. I'm petrified. I am so, ooh, you guys, this is really vulnerable for me. There's a time where I started not telling any of my friends anybody what I was auditioning for and I know my actor friends feel me it's that tough situation of I don't want to get others excited about my audition and tell them about it because then I will have to tell them I didn't get it because the reality is nine out of ten times I'm not going to book it and and I'm gonna to refer to the statistic that they told me in a workshop years ago and I try not to think about it because it is it's so daunting and it reaffirms my limiting belief that there's not enough auditions and too many actors and I'm working through that because that is not true there are so many opportunities there's so many opportunities so the statistic is one in every 64 auditions an actor books one in every 64. So it's just a little tough for us actors to navigate that. We wanna tell you and get excited, but I don't wanna get you excited because I ultimately know that I probably will not book it. But there is an opportunity, which is something to get excited about. As an actor, I have been fighting no's my whole life, but we must, we must. There is that one time when you get that yes and it feels so, feels so good and it makes everything so worth it especially when it's the right cast and it's right it's that puzzle of I see it all makes sense it's so great when people do get cast to a T and the cast blends well and it's the right experience and I am so excited to keep auditioning and keep at it and keep working through those through these no's. So thank you again so much for watching this journey and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it and quite frankly, need it. Quick preview, I did have a tough time at TAP this past week. I'm not gonna talk too much about it, it's coming. And I'm gonna leave you with that.